Good morning, guys. Um, I do apologize. Hold on. There we go. Um, I have everything ready to go now. Um, first of all, this is the Sunday of the paralytic. So it's the fourth Sunday of Pascha. We've got four more Sundays to go. So we got about a month left before uh, the Ascension uh, and uh, Pentecost. So it's exciting. Um, secondly, in the United States, it is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, we thank you for uh, being mothers and the service of mothers. Um, Spiritual mothers, godmothers, um, you know. And of course, we want to thank the Thelotokos most of all because uh, she is the mother of God. And uh, so, happy Mother's Day to the Thelotokos herself because uh, without the Thelotokos, we wouldn't have our salvation. So, again, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Anyways, guys, we are going to go ahead and get started this morning with the Office of the Hours Before Liturgy and the Typica Services. So, um, again, I want to thank you guys. I'm hoping that my iPad will last long enough. It's about dead. But I'm hoping that my iPad will last long enough that I'll be able to read to you guys at the end of the service um, a homily uh, that was written by a priest uh, for, for this particular uh, Sunday in the uh, liturgical calendar. Uh, again, uh, just thank you all for joining me, and uh, have a blessed Sunday. All right, so let, let us... Begin. To the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. Christos anesti ecne cron. Vanato, vanaton, patisas, Keti sentis me masi, zoin carisa menus. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs. Bestowing life. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Almost Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and until ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship our God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down for Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down for Christ himself, our King and our God. Hear a just cause, O Lord, and attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from the lips of free of deceit. From thee let my vindication come. Let thy eyes see the right. If thou triest my heart, if thou visitest me by night, if thou testest me, thou wilt find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress with regard to the works of men. By the words of thy lips I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to thy paths. My feet have not slipped. I call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me, O God. Incline my ear, incline thy ear to me. Hear my words. Wondrously show thy steadfast love. O Savior of those who seek refuge from their adversaries at thy right hand. Keep, us, keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me in the shadow of thy wings. From the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies who surround me. They close their hearts to pity. With their mouth they speak arrogantly. They track me down, now they surround me. They set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion eager to tear. 
As a young lion lurking in ambush, arise, O Lord, confront them, overthrow them, deliver my life from the wicked by thy sword, from men by thy hand. O Lord, from men whose portion in life is of the world, may the belly be filled with what thou hast stored up for them. May the children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their babes. As for me, I shall behold thy face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with beholding thy form. To thee, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in thee I trust. Let me not be put to shame, let not my enemies exalt over me. Yea, let none that wait for me be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Teach me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. For thee I will, uh, for thee I wait all the day long. Be mindful of thy mercy, O Lord, and of thy steadfast love, for they have been, to been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions according to thy steadfast love. Remember me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his ways. All the path of the Lord, all the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. He himself shall abide in prosperity, and his children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet and out of the net. Turn thou to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and, be, and bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in them, in thee. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for, the, for thee. Redeem, o, uh, redeem Israel, O God, out of all of his troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and in sins in, and in my sin is continually before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done that what is evil before thee, thou, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and in sins did my mother bear, uh, conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things, and thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a ruling spirit. I will teach transgressions thy ways, and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure and desire, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall thou be pleased with our sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon that altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God, glory to you. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be God. For the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us up from the depths of hell and has granted the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine from, the, from whom the fruit of the life is blossomed. Uh, the, o Theotokos, thou art the true vine from whom the fruit of life blossomed. We entreat thee, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints. Have mercy, may be, that that mercy may be granted to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God. Blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us all along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Almost Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Amen. By thy divine intercession, O Lord, as thou didst raise up the paralytic of old, so raise up my soul, paralyzed by sins and thoughtless acts, so that being saved, I may sing to thee, Glory to thy power, O compassionate Christ. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering and merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who calls all to the salvation, to the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications, direct our lives according to thy commandments, sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their host. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more voice may I compare than the seraphim. Without correction, I'll give his birth to God the Word. Truth and the will magnify thee, O Lord, bless. To the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O Master, God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and save me. Thy honor with servant by thy judgments. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. Christos anesti ek necron vanato vanaton patisa aske tisentis mi masi zoin carisa menus. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Save me, O God, by thy name, and vindicate me by thy might. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For insolent men have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. They do not seek, do not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is, my, is the upholder of my life. He will requite my enemies with evil, and thy faithfulness put an end to them. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to thee. I will give thanks to my, thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am overcome by my trouble. I am distraught by the noise of the enemy because of the oppression of the wicked. For they bring trouble upon me, and in thy anger they cherish enmity against me. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I say, oh, that I have wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Yea, I would wander afar. I would lodge in the wilderness. I would haste to find me a shelter from the raging wind and tempest. Destroying their, destroy their plans, O oh God, confuse their tongues. For I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on the walls, and mischief and trouble are within it. Ruin is in its midst. Oppression and fraud do not depart from the marketplace. From its marketplace. It is not an enemy who tossed me, then I could bear it. It is an adversary who deals insolently with me. It's not an adversary who deals insolently with me, that I could hide from it. But as you, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend, we used to hold sweet converse together. Within God's house we walked in fellowship. Let death go upon them. Let them go down to shale alive. Let them go 
away in terror into their graves. But I call upon God and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and noon, at noon, I utter my complaint and moan and I will hear, and he will hear my voice. He will deliver my soul in safety from the battle that I wage for many are arrayed against me. God will give uh, ear and humble them. He who is enthroned from of old because they keep no law and do not fear God. My companion stretched out his hand against his friends. He violated his covenant. His speech was smoother than butter, yet war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, will cast them down into the lowest pit. Men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, he uh, who abides in the shadow of the Almighty, who uh, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. The faith, his faithfulness is a shield buck and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the air that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your sides, and thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge the most high your habitation. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will give his angels charge over you to guard you in all his, your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample under your foot. Because he cleaves to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him he, because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Glory to you. Kyrie eleison, kyrie eleison, kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength in his, with his arm. He has trampled down death by death, he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell, and has granted the world great mercy. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We have no boldness because of the multitude of our sins, but entreat him who was born of the O Virgin Theotokos. For the prayer of our mother has great power to win the favor of the Master. Do not despise the supplication of sinners. O all pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who will to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we have become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Almost Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Kyrileson, Kyrileson, Kyrileson. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. <sighs> thou hast ascended into the tomb, O immortal, thou hast destroyed the power of death. In victory didst thou raise. Thou arise, O Christ God, proclaiming rejoice to the myrrh bearing women, granting peace to thine apostles, and bestowing resurrection to the fallen. <clears throat> Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth are worshiped and glorified, our Christ of God, who art long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, save our supplication and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all the tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their hosts, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine own virtual glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compared than the seraphim. And that corruption, I gave us birth to God, the word, truth, and the tokos, we magnify thee, O Lord, bless. To the prayers of our holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us, amen. O God, the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thine ineffable and tender mercy has sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross has torn up the record of our sins, and thereby triumph over the princes and dominion of darkness. Do thou, all master, O love us, mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving. And supplication, even from our sinners, and deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression, and from all uh, visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and let not our hearts incline to evil words of thoughts. Rather, wound our souls with thy love, that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee the eternal light, that no man can approach. We may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father, without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy good and life giving Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death and upon those in the tombs bestowing life blessed lord of my soul blessed art thou o lord blessed lord of my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name Blessed Lord, my soul, and forget on all of his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for the oppressed. He, he made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. He will not always chide nor will he keep his anger forever. The Lord has established his throne to the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O oh, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, hearkening to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, and his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, and the places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless art thou, God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O oh, my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in princes and the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to this earth. On that very day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is within them, who keeps his faith forever, executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens, his, opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the fatherless. But the way of the wicked he will bring to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. That God was signed to all generations, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O only begotten Son, immortal, and immortal word of God, who for our salvation did well to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, who without change did become man, was crucified of Christ our God, traveling down death by death, part one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. In thy kingdom. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of God of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all men are evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Come, let us bow down and worship Christ, who arose from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Hold on just a second, guys. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has shriveled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted to the world great mercy. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Aiosu Theos. Aios Isiros, Aios Athanatos, Elehison Imas, Aios Otheos, Aios Isiros, Aios Athanatos, Eleison imas aios o theos aios isiros aios athanatos eleison imas Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to ages of ages. Amen. Aios Athanatos, Eleison Imas, Aios Otheos, Aios Isiros, Aios Athanatos, Eleison Imas. Proclaim it on in tone one. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on thee. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. Praise, be, praise befits the just. Let us be attentive. The reading is from the, uh, is from the book of Acts uh, of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. Now as Peter was traveling through, the, through all the regions, he also came down to visit the saints who lived in light in Lida. There he found a certain man named Aeneas who was paralyzed and had been bedridden for eight years. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. And immediately he arose. All who lived in Leda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Now there lived in Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which translated means gazelle. This woman was full of good works and acts of mercy. But it happened that at this time she became ill and died. She was washed and placed in the upper room. In an upper room at Leda. As Leda was near Joppa, the disciples hearing that Peter was there sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to help them. So Peter arose and went with them. When he arrived, the disciples led him into the upper room. All the widows stood by weep him weeping, showing Peter the coats and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. But having put everyone out of the room, Peter knelt and began to pray. Turning toward the body, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. Then Peter gave her his hand and raised her up, calling the saints and widows, and he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many people believed in the Lord. The reading of the Holy God. Ah. The reading of the Book of Acts of the Apostles. Mm. Arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. 
I will sing of thy mercies, O Lord, forever with thy mouth. My mouth, I will proclaim thy truth from generation to generation. For thou hast said, mercy will be established forever. My truth will prepare, be prepared in the heavens. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The reading of the Holy Gospel of John, of, of, according to St. John. After these things, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate, there's a pool with five porches called in Hebrew, that's Seda. Under these lay a great multitude of people who were sick, blind, lame, or paralyzed, ready for the moving of water. But for an angel went down at certain times into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first at the stirring of the water was made whole of whatever disease he had. A certain man was there who had had his illness for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and perceived that the man had been sick for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man replied, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred. But while I am coming, someone else steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Arise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man was made well. He took his mat and began to walk. Now it was a Sabbath on that day. And so the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry the mat. The man answered them, He who made me well, the one that said to me, Take up your mat and walk. Then they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your mat and walk? But the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn in the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, Behold, you have become well. Send no more so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Remember us, O Lord. Oh, hold on. Yes. I almost forgot. I said I was going to do this. Didn't I? All right. So, the sermon for today is, hold on. The sermon today is from uh, Father Philip Lamasters, and it is titled Hill to, Ri Hill to Rise Up and Walk, Homily for the Sunday of the Paralympic of the Orthodox Church. Christ is risen. Christos Anesti, Christos Oskresi, Christos Anvia. We do not like to be dr dragged down or be held back by problems that we cannot solve, whether it is our own health, a broken relationship with others, or a complex set of circumstances over which we have little control. It is very frustrating to know our weaknesses before seemingly insurmountable challenges. That is surely how the invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed felt as they waited for the chance to be healed by being the first to reach the pool of water troubled by the angel. Due to their illnesses, many must have despaired over ever being healed. The man who had been paralyzed for 38 years was one of those, for there was no one to help him move toward the water. Here we have an image of humanity before the coming of Christ. The Jews had a temple in which animals were sacrificed, and the pool provided water for washing lambs before they were offered to God. This soon occurs at the Jewish feast of Pentecost, which commemorated Moses receiving the law, which was given by angels. Fallen humanity, however, remained spiritually weak and sick. They lacked the strength to fulfill God's requirements and certainly could not conquer death. The wages of sin for all those who had fallen short of the glory of God. The sacrificial system of the temple foreshadowed the great self-offering of our Lord on the cross, but did not heal anyone from the ravages of spiritual corruption or raise anyone from the grave. It was a great blessing for the Jews to have the law, but surely also a tremendous frustration not to have the strength to obey it fully. Only Christ himself fulfilled the law, which is why he can call and empower us to be perfect as our Holy Father is perfect. Our Heavenly Father is perfect. In contrast, the, man, par the paralyzed man represents all who lack the power to move themselves to complete healing, to find the fulfillment of our common human calling to become like God in holiness. Notice that he did not call out to Christ to help him. Instead, the Lord reached out to him and asking, Do you want to be healed? That may seem like a strange question for presumably anyone waiting by a pool for healing after 38 years of illness who would, want, who would want to be made well. But think for a moment about how we have all learned to adapt to our favorite sins, how we have become comfortable with whatever forms of corruption have become second nature to us over the years. By virtue of coming to church, we are apparently religious people, but that does not mean that we truly want to be healed. For to be healed means obeying the Lord's command to, be, to his fellow, to this fellow, Rise, take up your pallet, and walk. It requires making the effort to rise up in obedience, to be transformed personally in how we live each day, and to grow in holiness. 
It would not be have, it would not suffice for that man to have remained on his bed and have warm feelings about how Christ had healed him. Just as anyone who lies motionless for a long time will become weak and unable to rise up and walk on his own power. The same will be true of this of us spiritually if we try to rest content with simply believing ideas about God or having positive emotions about him. If we are not gaining strength by actually serving him faithfully, we will become paralyzed and unable to cooperate with our Lord's gracious healing energies. Any spiritual health that we claim in that state will be a figment of our imagination. The good news is that the Lord does not simply provide us with a set of rules to follow or services to perform. He makes us participants in himself by grace. He unites us to himself, raising us up with him from slavery to sin and death to the great dignity of those who share in his eternal life. The Savior makes us members of his own body, the church. He is the bridegroom and we are the bride. He makes us radiant in holiness, like an iron left in the fire of the divine glory. That is how he heals us as such, that we have the strength to obey his command, to get up from our bed of corruption and move forward in a blessed life of holiness. Though we may not yet have the eyes to see it, this healing and strengthening of our humanity happens to this day throughout our life in the church. In the, our reading from Acts, St. Peter heals a paralyzed man and commands him to get up. He even raises a woman from death. Peter did not do this by his own power or authority, but because the Lord was working through him. He said to the paralyzed man, Jesus Christ heals you. Throughout Acts, we read of how the Lord works through his body, the church, to enable people to participate personally in the new life of the resurrection that he shares with us by grace. That is not, however, a life of merely having our names on a church membership role or calling ourselves Orthodox Christians. If our faithfulness extends only that far, we will become as weak as a person who remains immobile in bed and refuses to stand up and walk. We must not be like the poor souls waiting by the pool for someone else to move them into the healing water. On his own gracious initiative, Jesus Christ has given each of us the strength to overcome the peril paralysis of sin through his resurrection. He does not simply give us commands. He gives us himself and our life in his body. The church is truly our participation in him. We receive his healing of our souls when we humbly repent of our sins and confession. We are nourished for the life of the kingdom by his body and blood and holy communion. When we offer our time, energy, and resources to support the ministries of the church, we rise up from selfishness to participate in the abundant generosity of the Lord. When we stop thinking of ourselves as isolated individuals and instead as members of a body with a common life in Christ, we will be able to love and serve one another in ways that will open us to his strength personally and collectively in powerful ways. In the joy of the resurrection, we must learn to see the embracing of our life together in Christ is an essential dimension of obeying his command to rise, take up your power, and walk. He calls each of us to turn away from the paralyzing weakness of selfishness and laziness that would make whatever sins we've become comfortable with appear more important in serving him in his body, the church, where the glory and the power of the resurrection are fully present. Think about that for a moment. Pascha is not an isolated event that happened long ago, but an entrance into the new day of the kingdom of heaven, which is fully open to us in the worship and common life of this parish. The, sa the Savior calls each of us weakened and held back by the corruption of sin to get up and move forward in the blessed life for which he has made us in his image and likeness. That is why he died and rose again, to raise us up with him for a life of holiness, to restore us in the ancient, to the ancient dignity of paradise. May the season of Pascha be our entrance as a parish into the joy of the kingdom. That, with, that will happen when we rise up from whatever corruptions are holding us back to a life of obedience and serving him and one another in his body, the church. That is the only way to answer the question that he asked each of us today and every day. Do you want to be healed? Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Christos a inviat. Mm. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when thou comest in thy kingdom. The heavenly choir sings thy praise and he says and cries, Holy, 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 Lord of heaven, Lord of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Draw nigh unto him and be enlightened with your faces. Shut up, and your faces shall not be put to shame. The heavenly choir sings thy praises and cries, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels and archangels with all the powers of heaven sings thy praises and cries, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of thy glory, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence, 
for the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. He rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, the life of the age to come. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, committed in word or deed, thought or intention, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by day or by night. Forgive us everything, for thou art good and lovest mankind. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Pater Rimon, Dui Soranis, Agetheto Tu Anomosu. To the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Amen. By the divine intercession, O Lord, is that which raise up the paralytic of old, to raise up my soul, paralyzed by sins and thoughtless acts, so that being saved, I may sing to thee, glory to thy power, O compassionate Christ. Thou didst descend into the tomb, O more mortal, thou didst destroy the power of death. In victory didst thou arise, O Christ God, proclaiming rejoicing to the bearing women, creating peace to thine apostles, and bestowing resurrection on the fallen. Kyrileson, Kyrileson, Kyrileson. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kyrileson, Kyrileson, Kyrileson. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. O most holy, holy Trinity, because it's not consubstantial power, undivided kingdom, origin of, origin of all good things. Be gracious and inclined to me, unto me a sinner. Make steadfast my heart and give it understanding and take away from me every defilement. Enlighten my mind that I may ever glorify, praise, and worship thee and say, One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, the glory of the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever, uh, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The angel cried to the lady, full of grace, rejoice. Rejoice, O pure virgin, again I say rejoice. The sun has risen from three days in the tomb. With himself he has raised all the dead. Rejoice, all you people. Shine, shine, O new Jerusalem. The glory of the Lord is shown on thee. Exult now and be glad, O Zion. Be radiant, O pure Theotokos, in the resurrection of thy son. O Lord, lover of mankind, forgive those who hate and wrong us. Do good to those who do good. Grant our brethren and relatives all petitions that are unto salvation and eternal life. Visit the infirm and heal them. Guide those at sea. Travel with those who travel. Grant remission of those to the grant remission of sins to those who serve us and are merciful to us, according to that abundant mercy. Have mercy on those who ask us to pray for them, unworthy though we may be. Remember, O Lord, our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, and grant them rest where the light of thy countenance shines. Remember, O Lord, our captive brethren, and deliver them from every misfortune. Remember, O Lord, those who bear fruit and do good in thy holy churches, and grant them all their petitions that are unto salvation and eternal life. Remember us, O Lord. We are thy humble and sinful and unworthy servants. Enlighten our minds with the light of thy count understanding and direct us on the path of thy commandments through the prayers of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs Bestowing life, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. Right.
is danger risen from the dead, trampling down home death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, of Saint Seraphim of Seraph, my patron saint, and of and of all your saints, uh, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who arose from the dead, have mercy on us. Christ is risen from the dead. Trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christos Adesti, Christos Vos Cresti, Christos Advia, Christos Adesti, Ecnecron, Thanato. Thanaton patis aske tis en tis mi masi zoin kais amenus. Christos anesti ek necron thanato thanaton patis aske Tis en tis mi masi zoin caris amenus. Christos anesti ek necron thanato thanaton patis as ke tis en tis mi masi zoin Carisamenus. And to us he has given eternal life. Let us worship his resurrection on the third day. Amen and amen. Thank you guys again for joining me on this Sunday of the Paralytic. Um, I hope that uh, a little bit of uh, this may bless you guys. Um, I know it's definitely blessing me during the services every Sunday. Um, I really do, really do love the services and the ministry, and I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed every time I do the services because they're so beautiful to me, and I just want to thank you guys. Um, I just want to thank you guys for being a part of this. So, I hope you have a blessed Sunday at the Paralytic. Uh, go and celebrate with your mother. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there, and. Um, I just want to thank you guys once again and have a blessed Sunday. Peace be with you. Amen.